Reef DDM is coming at you with a solution to our French drain, then the goat barn, which has been frozen for three or four weeks here in winter. It drains to the outside, of, you know, it's a long six foot system here to get to the outside and it's completely been froze up. We're going to kind of do away with that. And we're going to make a modified, you know, French kind of mound system like you would for a typical septic. My daughter here is cutting some PVC pipe. We're going to go right underneath the sink. We're going to bypass the old French drain. And we're basically inside the goat barn, right in one of the stalls, you know, where, you know, goats urinate and, and defecate and so forth. Um, we're going to go down below it and we're going to put in kind of a, a French drain line that goes into a couple uh, great big um, sump buckets, 30 gallons a piece. We're going to put an alarm on it in case they ever fill up. And we're going to turn this into um, kind of our own septic system for the uh, sink water. We don't use a lot of water in this sink, so it helps. We put a great big pipe between these two barrels. The holes were already there. We put an alarm on it so that when they fill up, we'll know about it, which I don't think they will. And then we're digging kind of a tremendous hole. <laughs> um, you know, we're, we're getting down into the, into the earth here, and you can see the French line here coming in. And that's going to bring the water in. It's going to drop it into the first of these 30-gallon drums. Each of these drums has got about 60 holes in the bottom of it, and then it's going to be sitting on a gravel bed, and a gravel bed will be able to, to drain the water out of these buckets and then absorb it um, into the, to the substructure. And since this barn is not a frozen barn, um, we're not going to have any issue then with it freezing up to the outside. I'll keep the existing French drain that we have to the outside. I'll eventually get it opened up, and we'll just keep it for a you know floor drain and, uh, you know, any emergency type use that it would ever need to be for. But uh, here we are, we've got the first barrel in. It's sitting on about 12 inches of um, very large gravel. And then around this black barrel, we've got some you know geothermal fabric to prevent the soil from leaching into the gravel. Then we've got a green pipe between these two and then they connect. And again, both barrels have holes in the bottom to drain water out. And then the second barrel has um, a sump alarm on it and then basically we're filling this back up. I've got three farm hands on this. I got all three of my kids that are older on this and myself and in seven people we we're able to cut that line, put a new sink line in, French train it into these barrels, dig the barrels down, put in the drain field, put the barrels on it, hook the barrels together, put the alarm in and then fill it all back up. So again seven people five, six hours of work, you know, that's, that's what it takes to do this. But this will be a nice solution for us. We won't have to deal with it, you know, freezing up again. We don't run a lot of water in this sink, um, just enough for basic milking, cleaning, and hygiene. So um, it's, not a, it's not a major sink for that purpose. Um, the water line is mostly used for the waterers in the barn. But, you know, again, we'll leave the floor drain in it. We cut off the, the plumbing line that the sink went into in it and then redid it into this new setup, and I think it'll work really, really well. The alarm there is on the wall. It'll tell us if that second barrel ever fills up, and then we can deal with it. This is how we fixed our frozen sink line. Please like and subscribe and support our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this, folks. Thanks.